What's up, it's Keith Kalfas. I have an upset customer right now who wants me to come back and fix their landscaping sod job for free for something that's not my fault. And if you've ever been in this position, I wanna talk out and explain to you what I just went through. And let's all learn together. What's up, it's Keith Kalfas with the Landscaping Employee Trip. Right now would be a good time to hit the subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you can get notified when I upload videos. Now, today's Saturday quotes. I just had an appointment with a customer. We installed their sod 49 days ago. We made the grade perfect, beautiful Kentucky bluegrass, laid it all out, stitched it together so it matched the neighbor's yard perfectly, tamped it all out, watered it. They were happy. They were ecstatic. They signed off and they paid. Now, a month and a half later, they're contacting me saying that the grade is off. Their lawn care guy told them that the grade is off by half an inch. And they want us to come refix everything for free. So I come out there. I'm like, it was perfect when we did it. I don't know what's going on. And as soon as I walk up, I can see big tire track grooves from a 1,200 pound riding lawnmower. The customer comes out and is talking to me. And I let the customer talk for like five or six minutes straight. And I don't say a word. I just keep looking. Chilling. When the customer says, so what are your thoughts? The customer is very smart. The customer said, you know, we paid you an extremely high amount of money. You have positive reviews on Google. We weren't about to go say bad things about you on the internet until we at least called you up. Like saying all these very smart, intelligent things to get leverage on their case. And then when the customer's done talking, I said, they, they said, so what are your thoughts? I said, well, I'm looking and I see deep grooves from a 1200 pound lawnmower cutting a wet lawn, right where you're telling me that the grade is off. And as soon as I said that, the customer immediately got upset and said, well, if you're not gonna fix it, then just tell me right now. If you're not gonna, and then in that in that moment, my heart started to pound and my blood pressure went straight up. And I said, calm down, Kelfus. <laughs> calm down, Kelfus. If you're not gonna fix it, just tell me right now. I said, well, 47 days ago when we finished the job you were totally happy and everything was good and you you signed you you signed off it was it was fine then what changed and then the customer got <laughs> really upset and started you know to get very upset I said well I said you know I want you to understand that 47 days has went by and I'm not just going to um, admit and take responsibility for what very well could have been a 1200 pound lawnmower making grooves across this lawn she says well what about here where the grade is off in these little tiny places at the edge of the sod and I can clearly see diagonal stripes for a lawnmower and a lawnmower turning around on a wet lawn causing divots from repeatedly making the same path over and over and over and over. I said, well, I'm not gonna go in and accept responsibility for, here's the key part, for lawnmower turning around on my sod job, but, you know, um, as a courtesy, we can come out on a rainy day when it's pouring rain, or we can, you know, run your sprinklers for an hour where it's all wet and pliable, as a courtesy, and then we can tamp this down and fix it and then sprinkle Kentucky bluegrass seed. And there's a couple little parts that were drying out and I don't know why, because I'm sure they've been watering it every day with a sod. I think uh, my buddy was telling me Stanley Genetic had a video talking about where the sod, you have to overseed anyways on top of the sod. And I wasn't really too sure of that because our sod job looks beautiful, but there is a couple spots where it's drying out. It, two little spots, two just two spots and and so that's the interesting thing if there is a little something that is quote unquote possibly your fault which I don't think that's my fault 
then the customer will try to get you to take responsibility for the whole enchilada. But if you put this on a gradient or a percentage, you could say, well, let's isolate that little tiny area. But as soon as I said, as a courtesy, we'll come out, and then the lady got more upset. And she goes, well, oh, as a courtesy, I thought you stood behind your work. That's what all the positive reviews say on Google. I said, we do, go look at Google. We do stand behind our work. We have tons of positive reviews. But you have to understand that I'm not gonna take responsibility for something that's not my fault, but as a courtesy, I'll come out. I said, so then the lady relaxed. <laughs> it's so simple, man. Imagine this on a on a $100,000 landscape job where you just installed a whole patio around a pool or something like that, and now the customer's coming and calling you a month and a half later saying the grade is off a little tiny bit, and they want you to rip out and replace a whole patio. It's going to cost you like $25,000 to fix that because they don't like it, or they're saying that their neighbor or their friend told them who's supposedly a construction expert. That's why they always say, well, my friend is a construction expert and told me. So uh, people who don't know you will throw you under the bus in a second. People who don't know you, who don't know you, they'll throw you under the bus in, in a second. They don't care if your whole business that you end up living in a dumpster because they don't know you. They don't know you. And people that don't know them will throw them under the bus in the second. It's this weird type of human nature where we don't under, uh, I don't do this, but some people don't defend other people who aren't present. They'll just throw them under the bus. It's this weird egoic thing. So the customer is telling me how, you know, so-and-so is a landscape architect expert and that, um, I'm wrong because they know somebody who's an expert who says I'm wrong. So no, you know, stakes are pretty low. I said, you know, I agree with the customer under courtesy and I'm going to make them sign. I'm going to come out beforehand with a document on a clipboard or digitally and make them sign that I'm not taking responsibility for this, but as a courtesy, we'll come out with tampers. We'll, you know, soak it down with water. Uh, for an hour or come out when it's pouring rain we'll tap it out put down some Kentucky bluegrass seed and they will sign but it's interesting when somebody's accusing you of something you know I have another issue um, that's kind of solving itself out that happened a month and a half ago as well. Little, little tiny thing. I'll talk about that in a different video, probably on my window cleaning blueprint channel because it happened while cleaning windows and it was literally a little tiny scratch on a customer's hardwood floor. First time in seven years. I don't even know for sure if I created the scratch, but I'm assuming that I did. Um, I'll talk about that in my window cleaning blueprint channel where I've already paid $530 for, for, for a professional furniture medic to come out and fix a scratch like on a hardwood floor and the customer was totally happy and satisfied and a week later the customer wants me to come back and pay to fix the floor again or possibly hold me accountable. I think, I'm thinking in my head, for an entire $50,000 hardwood floor because of four inch scratch that you can't see anymore because a professional furniture medic came out and charged me $530 to fix it. Actually, it was 480 but I gave the guy a $50 tip because he did an amazing job. I couldn't even see the scratch when it was gone. These guys, people are amazing, right? And I, I did a lot of research and I was up all night sweating bullets. See, I'm already talking about it. And a week later, the customer waited seven or eight days later and then sent me a picture because when the light is shining at a specific angle from like 12 feet away from the floor at the perfect angle, you can see a little bit of a cloudy spot on the sheen of where the scratch was repaired. And we couldn't even tell, it looked beautiful. But under doing research and talking to professionals, when there is a repair under the certain lighting conditions, and, and I was like, well, why did the customer wait a week? because these professionals told me that that's what people do. They will literally keep looking at it for a week straight, trying to find something wrong with what you repaired or what you did. I got it! So they can try to hold you accountable to get a brand new $50,000 hardwood floor. So, 
Oh, another situation. I'm just venting now. Kelfis is venting. If a customer wants to be bumped all the way ahead to the head of the line, you can give them the option that you'll come out on Sunday and do their job, but they have to pay extra. So this is a customer who did. And anyways, that's a totally different story. I gotta go do all these quotes. Thank you so much. I see I vented. I feel better now. I love you guys. You guys, you ask him. Hey, you ask him. Somebody in the comments said was upset with me because I said I love you guys. And he was uh, trying to contact me. And I never got back to you because I'm really busy. And um, if you do try to contact me, let the landscaping employee trap at gmail.com. If I don't respond right away, just because I'm busy, just like you. And then also you can check out my website, keithkelfus.com. Or click the link in the description below to get my free three video series, my landscaping series, and then we can keep in contact. My friend, my partner in the green industry, I will see you soon. And also, the GIE Expo is in October. If you want to get 50% off of your ticket price through my link, I'll put GIE Expo links in the bottom. You get 50% off if you register online. Pretty, pretty cool, huh? I got other updates and announcements and things I want to talk about. I can't just yet. Peace out. Sign up.